In this video, we'll balance PbNO3 2 plus NaOH, that's lead 2 nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. Let's count the atoms up. We have 1 Pb, and then this NO3, it stays together in the reaction. We have the NO3, it's called the nitrate ion, NO3 here and NO3 here. So we're going to count that as one thing. So we'll say 1 NO3 here times the 2, we have two of these nitrate ions. 1 sodium, and then this OH, that's the hydroxide group, and it's here and it stays together. It's over here. We have one of those. This is going to make the balancing a lot easier by considering these polyatomic ions as just one item because they appear on both sides of the equation. On the product side, we have 1 Pb, 1 nitrate, sodiums, we have 1, and then hydroxides, we have 2 times the 1, we have 2 hydroxides. Looks like we could fix the nitrates first by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. We have one sodium times two, that gives us two of those, and then one nitrate times the two. That'll give us two, that'll balance the nitrates. Let's fix the sodiums next. We could put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide, so one times two, that gives us two sodium atoms, those are balanced, and then the OH, the hydroxide, one of these times the two, that'll give us two of those, those are balanced, and we're done. You can see that when we have polyatomic ions, the same ones on each side of the equation, we can count them as just one item. That makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for lead 2 nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.